Hello, friends. Welcome to AI Flux. This week's been sort of tumultuous and interesting in a number of ways for the interactions um, in this stable diffusion community, um, specifically between Stability AI, their founder, Imad, and a lot of the developers working on the web UI interfaces. And I think this is interesting because like the precipice and what makes Stability AI's implementation, um, Stable Diffusion, so interesting is the whole idea was to unleash this whole model to people who would come up with interfaces for this for people. And I mean, there, there are lists that have hundreds of forks and hundreds of these, and there are a few that have emerged as the top ones. So Invoke AI is one of those. Um, we have another video coming out covering that. Because a lot of the development we found is now following um, two models or two interfaces specifically, which are um, automatic 1111s and invoke AIs. And um, there's been some specific drama, I guess I'd say, with automatic 1111 this week. And this uh, timeline made by uh, Luca Eventipistos, I, I think, outlines this most succinctly. Um, so... The, the whole start of this mess was uh, on October 6th when novel AI code and its weights were leaked. Uh, very shortly thereafter, we actually covered this in a video, um, hours after the fact, uh, Automatic 11.11 committed what at the time was thought to have been uh, bits of this leaked code. Um, novel AI then posts about the breach on October 8th. Uh, there was a, a big mess that just started between Ahmad, uh, some st stable diffusion, stability AI employees, um, who just came out and said, look, we're going to ban people who are using stuff that we think was stolen. And a lot of this happened really quickly. To say the thinking was sound and the reasoning was sound was, it's just not accurate. Uh, there were people coming out saying, this is ridiculous, you know. The whole point of stable diffusion is it's open source and that people can do what they want. And this was just generally handled poorly by stability AI. And what I have to say is Automatic 1111 kept a very cool head throughout all this and pretty confidently said, like, um, you guys can, can F off. Like, I'm going to do what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm confident this is within my rights. And... Uh, yeah, where we left off was uh, there was a guide pinned on the r slash stable diffusion subreddit, which went through its own, you know, phase of nonsense uh, with stability AI booting mods and um, telling certain employees what they could and couldn't do. There are a lot of employees on the subreddit now who say that, oh, yeah, no, this should all be community run. When So the subreddit is now in this weird limbo. Uh, and they all, and really the precipice of them getting pissed at Automatic 11.11 was they removed a pinned guide showing how to run Automatic 11.11 emulating uh, novel AI's models. So some time went by and uh, someone sent me this post. And, uh, well, no, not this one. Uh, no, not that one. Um, not that, let me get the right. Here we go. So... A user um, by the name of Combination Downtown came out and said, this is all BS. Um, the basis for Stability AI freaking out is com is completely wrong, it, in, just on its face, and provided the specifics of it. So they pretty much said, like, the, the bits they were all, you know, up, up and up about, and they were pissed off about, was bits and pieces of what they thought was novel AI code that Automatic 1111 um, juiced into his GUI and then said, have fun. Um, eventually, this was all parsed out, and they figured out that this was actually something that was committed to the ConfViz latent diffusion repo on December 21st, 2021, which was this specific attention pie model. Um, so one file here, and then... The, the, the funny thing is here, including, including this, this funny bit of text, attention, what we cannot get enough of. Um, and the irony is that Compviz, which is part of um, of AI, they didn't even write this code. So on August 3rd, 2021, this perceiver PyTorch model um, was committed by Lucid Reigns. And um, 
Yeah, so this all was written two years before any of this really happened. And the irony is the original code was, it's under an MIT license, which we're, like, I'm not going to turn this into a video about um, open source licensing because that's just a whole can of worms. But basically, like, it's, it even allows commercial use as long as you add attribute. And eventually, Automatic 11, 11, 11 said, yeah, like, I, this here's the attribution. I don't know what you're all pissed about. And, uh, yeah, in a stunning autistic series of events um, amid uh, Ahmad pretty much say, like saying all this wild stuff about, you know, what we're going to do with 1.5 and uh, amid the... Um, the NSA threatening them, it, a bunch of people threatening all this crazy stuff. You know, if you if 1.5, like, is it truly going to be open source? Are people going to be able to use it? I mean, all this BS, he comes out with this 10 hours ago, which, like, I give him credit. This is basically a formal apology. Um, again, Automatic 11.11 took this um, as, as well as he could and said, you know, and, and sort of, clowns him and says, come on, Imad, uh, you already apologized in person over tea yesterday. There's no need for this. Um, let me see. So it, this all ended up happening in public in the end. Uh, I think like we should all still very much acknowledge this was handled horribly and um, was incredibly sort of condescending and patronizing of a lot of developers that have worked on this. So this is what Imad said. Hi, Automatic 1111. This is a mod from Stability AI posting here, as this is where you spend most of your time. I would like to apologize for the manner of my actions and any hurt they may have caused. Um, so just damage control. Um, I should have reached out to you to talk one-on-one -on -one before doing anything to see if we could clear things up. I can give the excuse that I was super busy and have lots of difficulty with social communication and putting myself in other people's shoes, but I still didn't treat you like I would have wanted to be treated myself. Uh, while I tried to not discuss any detail of manner of things, it did imply that you were unethical, which is not nice. Um, that's putting it lightly. Uh, <laughs> I did disagree with some actions taken, but the matter active is wrong. Thank you for the hard work you've put into making this amazing technology. I will take some time from socials to focus on getting even more models and technologies for the creators to take. So basically he's saying we're going to try to get 1.5 out. I do not imagine you want to return to our specific stability, I stable diffusion on Discord community, but if you do just ping me, this is space for lots of communities. Um, so th this, uh, parts of this seem very earnest to me and parts of this seem like damage control. And I give Ahmad a lot of credit and he's in a really tough position right now, especially dealing with the ridiculous response from uh, the current administration. I'm not political, but I think, <laughs> What's been what's come out of that administration uh, in terms of the people who claim to understand AI stuff is hilarious, and um, we're making a video on that, so um, stay tuned for that. But uh, yeah, we were gonna make a whole video about this, and fortunately, this has come to a head in a way that I think is really pretty productive. Um, I think it still spells a lot of doubt or, or casts a lot of doubt and wonder as to how stability AI will exist going forward. Um, there's a lot of speculation that the reason 1.5 has taken so long is because there's now a lot of concern with how the next version of this will be perceived and will be used. Basically that the perception of stability AI is that they've let too much out of the bottle. People are going to freak out about this. So it'll be curious to see if a lot of this stuff goes the way that um, deepfakes did, which like now you can make deepfakes wherever you want. Uh, the technology is better. There's more documentation. You just have to find it. And there are less tools that make this easy. Um, so yeah, so that's why I, I'm sort of juiced to make this video about the uh, the governmental response. Because again, and this is not something that's specific to any one party, but this hilarious idea uh, the government has that they can just spook people and threaten people and say, no, people shouldn't have this or these people shouldn't gather here, or these communities are dangerous. Like there's a, there's a, a fine place for curbing some of that, but the idea that it makes this go away, I mean, it, it makes it go away in, a, in where you can see it, but this, this technology will not be put back. Um, and I think it's cool that, to kind of tie this all together, uh, that Automatic 1111 is clearly someone who holds these values and thinks critically about a lot of this stuff. So 
stay tuned for this video. Um, I hope this clears up any back and forth you've seen on Reddit or somewhere else on the internet with what's going on with Automatic 1111's um, GUI and his work. Uh, but yeah, as always, I hope you learned something. Leave a comment below if uh, we you were annoyed by something we said or you want us to change something. And I'll talk to you all soon.